Well, if you missed last night's grand finale of the RNC, uh, former President Trump described in his own words the assassination attempt that almost claimed his life. Lawmakers still want answers, and now they're going to get to grill a high-ranking Secret Service official at a hearing on Capitol Hill on Monday. Brian Yenis has more. America heard former President Donald Trump's firsthand account of the attempt on his life. And you'll never hear it from me a second time because it's actually too painful to tell. The investigation continues. A Secret Service spokesperson confirms Director Kimberly Cheadle will appear before the House Oversight Committee Monday. Senator Josh Hawley writing on X that whistleblowers claim most of Trump's security working the event were not Secret Service. It looks like the way this worked is the communications from the people in the field go into the main uh, uh, command post. Those bosses are supposed to be speaking to each other in real time. And it's not clear why it seems to have taken as long as it did for the snipers to engage. There are also reports that the shooter was surveilling President Trump for months, but some experts say online activity should have alerted officials to the threat ahead of time. They should have content emanating out of that to paint a more fulsome intelligence picture to get after this guy. Meanwhile, an emotional farewell to Corey Comparator as he's laid to rest in Pennsylvania. Corey died trying to shield his family when the gunman opened fire at Trump's faithful rally. According to the Associated Press, President Trump was told he could not attend the funeral due to Secret Service concerns, but is eager to get back on the campaign trail. I've had the conversation directly with the president. He wants to be on the road. As long as he is allowed to go out and talk to the American people, he's going to do it. Trump and running mate J.D. Vance are set to hold their first rally together as the GOP ticket indoors this Saturday in Michigan. In Butler, Pennsylvania, Brian Yenis, Fox News.